what we are doing at the University of Buenos Aires, it's an experiment. We started it this year. Uh, we've been working before in this, but uh, the, the real experiment started this year. And uh, as we were speaking outside, uh, it's not only education that is on peril, but some other professions as well that has to do with the transformation of information. Journalism, advertising, printing, they are all under siege, and they are experimenting the same perils and the same problems we've seen this morning. So we have to deal with these things. Uh, the reason we started this project at the University of Buenos Aires is because uh, we were really tired. We were fed up with this idea of students having uh, these cow faces uh, looking at us and we're looking at them and nobody really enjoying what we were doing and so we had other two choices or either we resigned or we came to Europe to do tourism for many years or otherwise we have to transform what we were doing with them and uh, we thought that we could engage them in a very unusual experiment which would consist in putting all of them we had two cohorts the first one that worked with us from March to July. We had 80 students. The second one, we had 160 students. And uh, we put all of them inside Facebook to study things that happen in Facebook and to do works uh, inside Facebook that they, they would have to show it in an audiovisual format. We didn't want the textual format. We want an uh, audiovisual format. And the reason we choose these things, both the setting and the way to, that they should have to work, is because we wanted to go from mention to use. We wanted to go from saying things, things have to be done this way, blah, 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 to do actually the things, and that the students would do the things. And so we were going to do, and we did it, uh, device experimental things that would have a persuasive format. What is it exactly that we did? We are going to have a couple of seminars in the work itself to see the things very, very in detail. No? We wanted to work in, in Facebook because when we started uh, devising the project in December last year, there were only 140 million people in Facebook. Now we have 350 million. In Argentina, we had only, at the, in February 2008, there were only 40,000 people. Now we have 7 million. So it was the time to have everybody in because it was the bandwagon. Everybody was inside, so it was an easy platform to use easier than any other, uh, other network we could think of. And so these were our premises. For us, Facebook is America Online 2.0. And half of the people that are inside Facebook were never before in the internet. And th that half that was never before in the internet, they use RSS, they upload pictures, they do whatever we were doing before and we thought we were very savvy and that we were sophisticated because we were working in Web 2.0. Half of the people never were before in the internet, now they are inside Facebook and they, they do many of the things that we used to do before. All of a sudden, it was not, not something trendy or techy, it was something at default, something that everybody could do. In Facebook, whatever, whenever you touch the mouse, whenever you make a, mo a movement inside Facebook, you publish. You use it, you publish. You use it, you touch the mouse, you develop a new digital identity, whether you like it or not, whether you know it or not. So it's so powerful, the platform. Now I have, uh, I don't know, 2,000 friends. I was tweeting this morning. Wherever I was making a tweet, these 2,000 friends got the tweet through TweetDeck, it went to Facebook, blah, 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 no? Natives and digital immigrants were put together in Facebook. The pull and push strategies were combined, are combined inside Facebook. And it's a, for people that are older people, uh, such as us, it's a way of back looking, a way of accessing the past, no? So the, our idea was, we have to start a project, we call it EduPunk, and it puts together connectivity, contents, and group production. And that's what we did. We have many weblogs, everything is published in the weblogs. Each class, after it's been given, the class is something very, very elastic, what we call class, because half of the classes are given by the same students and the same pupils. No? It, we talk as little as possible. We invite people from outside academia in each class or each meeting. Uh, it's like where you're calling the conference, the invited conference. No? So I speak only once in 15 classes. Two of the other teachers speak only once in the other four or five classes. We invite people from outside and the rest are the students themselves that take, they, they grab the class and they show what they do. We have our 
place inside Facebook, uh, you, uh, obviously. And the idea was to take six dimensions of analysis and we getting final products that were both analytic and audiovisual. Um, we have a place, a uh, web blog called projectofacebook.com.r, where we have the results. In the other one, we have what we are doing. In the other one, we have theoretical results. And I didn't find, finish uh, translating this, but it has to do with to experiment new learning and technology routines, to generate collaborative knowledge, to simulate learning, and to make the whole, the whole uh, subject we are teaching into a, a collaborative production tool. And well, this is the, the, the program we're developing. There's specific op, uh, goals. And these were the six dimensions of analysis that the students have to learn and to work with. Participation. What does it mean to participate in Facebook? Is it like participating in the real world? Is rhetoric? Is just uh, clicking? It's, 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 there's no compromise? The media conversions? The, uh, how to develop virtual communities inside Facebook? And um, the, the most important one, the architecture. What does the architecture of Facebook enable or limit? How can we twitch the architecture to do the things we do? How, how was it possible to use a commercial and entertainment tool such as Facebook to do such an experiment? It's a learning experiment, not a teaching experiment, a learning experiment. How could we do that, no? Construction of identity and economy. And then the results, you have to see there, but it showed us that we, we are we're working with an living system. In Facebook, you go from transparency to opacity and vice versa all the time. It's pan communities. You have thousands and thousands, millions of communities. In Facebook, you get the uh, circulation of information you don't get any, in any other place. What we wanted to do is to achieve students' emancipation. Uh, and the classes are so participatory. There's, there's such a glee. There's, they are so joyful. Uh, and you can see all the testimonies in the web logs. No? People are really uh, enjoying what they are doing as never before. And the effort and the energy they put in the classes is four or five times more than before. And the teachers have to do the same thing. It's very straining. You have to dedicate such an, eff an effort, and you have to work so hard, but the results are outstanding, as I'll show you in the last video, no? And mainly what we have done is change the focus. We don't focus anymore in the soloist, in the soloist teacher. What we are focusing is in group collaboration and production of knowledge by the whole community.